Yeah, got a bomb before I go in. Swim's there. It's gonna be a warm day. All right, part two, we're doing it. It is early, if you can't tell, the sun's coming up behind me. There's a bonfire lit. All right, then, he's done that. I'm not complaining. Got um, rod tail. Got the two tempers today. But all the proper kicks are missed. Yeah, for a comfortable day, for the full day. I'm not gonna just rough it out for a few hours. I'll come for the day and might as well just be a little bit comfier. So yeah, feeling good, seen one show. Had an absolute nightmare getting the rods out because it's still dark and I've got new rules. And it sounds silly, but new rules make such a difference when you're casting out. But yeah, if you haven't watched part one, definitely go back and watch it. Just kind of explains all of this. But yeah, part two, we're doing it. Done now. All right then, update. Lost one on the right hand rod. Uh, didn't really know what was happening. Bobbin's picked up. Gone, drop back down, then it's just picked back up again. Hit it. Lines kind of right, and just reeled in a big old ball of weed. But oh, yeah. B lift hand up. Got a proper bolt for going now. Nice. All right. So basically, I've had a move. Uh, just around the other side. Uh, my mate who I'm with just told me there's some more fish around there. So I thought I'd give it a go whilst the B lifts are. Using a chainsaw, you could probably hear it in the background. It's not a, it's not an edge. I wouldn't advise it, but yeah, you're gonna bait and pole out to one of my spots now, and then try and find one of the other ones. Hopefully, we, yeah, definitely gonna catch fish. I've already lost one, so it's a good sign. I'm moving. Just gotta get one in the net. Right. In the swim, you wouldn't be. Get out. No. Yeah, nothing. Absolutely nothing to report. Had a pot noodle. Yeah, I put one rod out and it absolutely cracked down. Because when you can when you use the baiting pot, if you hold the line as it drops back, you can still just about feel the drop if you've got a good one. Yeah, proper crack down, and that's what a good rig are. So I'm hoping that'll go. The other one eh, would have liked it. To go a bit better but I, I really don't think there was much I could change about it it's, I know it's presented it's on a um, good rig but I just got to wait now yeah one of those but give it a few more hours in this swim move back round to where I started because that's where I lost one from um, well it's the last bit of the day here the bay lifts are leaving now I think so should just be able to sit next to the fire with the rods out, living the dream. Hopefully not catching a bream. But yeah, I know I'm cool. Yeah, my eyes are pretty baggy. Three hours of sleep. So yeah, probably gonna go to sleep now for an hour. Yeah, watching the water, even with the eyes shut. Got my ears open. Yeah, safe beer. I'll speak to you later. been a while since I've filmed last. Well, I've been, I've been filming, if I'm honest, but nothing has been worth putting in because it's all just sitting down in blanking. So I've pretty much been down it every weekend since and I haven't caught anything. I've seen them show, but I still haven't caught anything. I still haven't sort of learned anything. Um, did come down here with a weed rake and raked off my spots properly. But now I've had a branch come down over the spot, so getting the rod out is a lot harder. And today the weather is raining all day. So brought the bivy down. She is set up looking absolutely noddy, I know. But yeah, got a rod out in this swim. And then I've got a rod out just down the bank. 
because I saw a little bit of bubbles there last time. Probably worth a go, so got one down there. Hopefully I'll actually catch one today. So I'll, put, I'll probably put this in anyway, even if I don't, just because a little bit of a update. Yeah, still blanking, a month in. Uh, still winter, it's hard late. It's pretty weedy anyway, so I'm not expecting anything, but hopefully I'll be able to have one before Boris reopens night fishing. Because when Boris reopens night fishing, I want to go different places than here. Although I could do a night on the river and fish it for, here for the day, but I've just put all my efforts into it, the river. Yeah. So, sat in the bed here. Got a little bit of fizzing on my spot. Not far off it. It's about three, four metres off my bait, but I'm not sure how well presented my rod is, if I'm honest. Yes, definitely they're on me. I'd have to um, investigate a tiny bit more just off of where that, just where these bubbles are later when they calm down a bit. I'll um, have to put a little lead on it, only about a one ounce. Uh, and I'll just find out what's there. Because I did, I, when I chucked my weed rake around, I chucked it this way towards me a bit more. I was, I'll put a video in. I was, I was actually weed raking off, the, off that bank. Yeah, fingers crossed, eh? Go on, well, it is three hours since I spoke to you last. Maybe four, don't really know. But um, yeah, nothing. I've had a couple of bubblers just off my spot. Um, made up the bank, said that they were absolutely turning the bottom up up there, and he's put a rig on it, and it was solid, so. Fingers crossed for him, but nothing I can see. Um, it's just, I can't really see my other spot from in my bivvy because there's a tree in the way, but I don't know, all my eggs are in one basket really, because I'm sort of more confident in one spot than the other, because the other one's just over the top of some weed. So I'm tempted to bring that in in a minute and um, ping it out on a different spot. But oh well, fingers crossed anyway. Yeah, I'll give you an update. Alright, day is done. I've got one rod left out on the money, but um, about half an hour ago, started a thought I'd try, try spotting and uh, spotted out the rest of my bait, but about five, six spots out. I don't bring much bait down here because it's still winter. And um, yeah, in the back of my in the back of the snags that I've been spawning to, I was spawning out a bread mix, so there's a little bit of crust in it still, so that, that's obviously floating. All I've heard is like that sucking noise of a carp taking bread off the surface. So, fishing the snags, just gotta try and get them come out, but I think they're just feeding on their night times because it's days only. But yeah, kit's pretty much half packed down. Old mother's in the car park waiting for me, but she can wait for a fish. Oh well, yeah, no fish. But the reason why the parts are taking so long for me to film is because I actually want to put a fish in them. I don't just want to film. But yeah, hopefully. Oh, well, I don't, you never know, I've got half an hour left or so. But hopefully the next time I'm filming, I will have one of these fish in my hands. Fingers crossed.